Howdy there, ladies and gents of the uh, YTPC. It's your boy Treetop Piper coming back at you. Got a package opening. That's all I wanted to do today is show you guys a package opening. But uh, before I get to that, on Monday I uh, wrecked my motorcycle. And I, the only person I've told in the YTPC is Old Berg. But uh, I ruptured my spleen and had a splenectomy and they had to cut me open look over my intestines my liver I guess I lost four quarts of blood which is half of the blood content of your entire body but anyway I just it just about killed me it just about killed me um, so the bikes are being sold they're not totaled got two bikes they're being sold I'll get my money back and buy another truck but anyway I just wanted to let y'all know uh, you know why I kinda have fallen off the map a little bit here lately also I've started a new or I had started a new job so I've been really occupied preoccupied with that job real tired all the time but it looks like I'm going to be out of work for about four to, it's, they said four to six weeks before I can lift anything over 15 pounds. So uh, I'm going to have some time on my hands. So I should be doing some more videos here uh, in the next month, month and a half. But anyway, I ordered these from uh, Four Noggins. Four Noggins sends out pins now. Also, another thing I wanted to say, Four Noggins, I messed up and ordered, placed an order for one tin, and then realized I wanted another tin I didn't know they had. So they, so I had to pay two, two, uh, the shipping costs twice for each tin, once, once for each tin. Well, they caught it when they shipped it. Shipped it all in one box and refunded me the shipping, the $4 shipping. So, um, just wanted to say kudos to Four Noggins for looking out for me like that and taking care of me because, uh, you know, I appreciate it. I was pretty pissed off at myself for allowing that to go down, but, uh, the first thing we got, we got, oh, I thought this was going to be bigger. We got some Wessex Gold Brick Block. Boom. Now this one I have really wanted to try for a while. But you got to grab it while it's there. You got to get it while it's hot because it goes quick. Big old plug. I mean this thing is solid. Solid chunk of tobacco. It says uh, three and a half, it's 100 grams. It's 100 grams of tobacco in this little old bitty block. But um, really looking forward to doing a first impression uh, of this. Or I may just do a review. I may drop the first, I, I, I'll leave it to you guys. Um, I may do a first impression or I may drop the first impression uh, um, whole uh, the whole first impression thing and do reviews you know smoke it for a week and then do a then do a video about it you know that way you guys get a more I know some people really like the first impression because they want to hear my first thoughts on it but some people want to hear my conclusion of it. So it's, you know, it's tough to please everybody, but you know, if, if you've got, if you've got thoughts on it, let me know. And, um, you know, I'll wait a couple days before I, uh, try that. That way, if you guys want the first impression, you know, I'll make sure that, uh, I do the opening on video and do the first impression. Now the second one we got is also a Wessex tobacco. 
Now, for some reason, I thought that I messed or that that I was only able to get the brown sliced. Or no, no, wait a second. This isn't Wessex. They didn't have the red sliced. I was upset about that. I was like, God dang it, I wanted that red sliced. All they had was brown sliced. But what they did have was Robert McConnell, Red Virginia. This one I've really wanted to try for a long time. As you know, I'm a Robert McConnell guy, Robert McConnell fan. I love their Oriental. Um, I love their Scottish Flake, love their Scottish Cake. I like their Glen Piper. Um, I like their fold. I really like, you know, I like their folded flake quite a bit. Um, they, I haven't tried a tobacco of theirs that I wasn't impressed with. And their Glen Piper is like Scottish cake, but it, it's an aromatic. It has a, a casing. So, and I'm not an aromatic guy. So, you know, and even that was good, very good, enjoyable. You know, and uh, anyway, uh, I'm really happy to have this Red Virginia. And it says, uh, Broken Red Virginia with a hint of Perique. So, uh, you know, really looking for, I'd, I've been really looking for a replacement for all the Red Virginias that we've lost from uh, McClellan's. All the Red Virginias that, you know, that were lost when they went under, um, or then when they uh, retired. So I'm really hoping that this Red Virginia comes out nice. I'm really hoping that it, it uh, really, really um, is a really satisfying smoke. Cool, uh, cool tin art too, by the way. They've got a... Uh, They've got an old guy in uh, knickers sitting next to an Indian chief smoking a pipe. So that's pretty cool tin art right there. Anyway, um, so that's the package anyway. Wessex Gold Brick and uh, Robert McConnell, Red Virginia. I do believe these are made by the same company, Cole House and Cobb, yeah. Cole House and Cobb. Yes, sir. Anyway, um, I could have got the Virgi the Wessex brown, uh, brown sliced, but I decided not to. I decided to. I could have got golden sliced, too, but I've already tried that. I really want the red sliced. That's what I really want. So, next time that one comes up, whoever has it for sale, I'm going to snap it up. But uh, you guys can look forward to those two. Um, yeah, I got terrible amounts of road rash too. But uh, you guys can look forward to these these videos sometime in the next week. Um, I'm gonna make sure either I may record the first impressions and then hang on to them and continue to smoke them and then do a review and perhaps release them at the same time to satisfy both both uh, groups of people that like one or the other I don't know but I think that's probably the way I'll do it now that I think of it now that it come to come to mind I will record my first impression as well as record uh, or as well as smoke it a few times and do a review and do a, a more in-depth discussion of it. You know, after I have spent some time with it and got to know it and got to enjoy it, try it in different pipes and uh, really give it its, its due, its, its uh, you know, what it's due. Because these are good tobaccos, and they deserve that. They deserve that attention. They deserve more than one smoke, you know. 
if you didn't like it on the first one, they deserve more than one smoke. You know, if you, you better tough it out at least one more time. You know, I would say smoke it three times before you decide you don't like it. And if you decide you don't like it, put that bad boy in a jar and come back a year later. Give her a shot then. Maybe a totally different, uh, maybe a totally different bag of tricks. But um, you never know. You know, that's the way this tobacco, this pipe tobacco goes. But anyway, um, I got that. And uh, last night I placed an order. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Smoker's Haven. They've still got some in-between mixture and some 20th anniversary mixture on sale or er, for sale right now, which is Jermaine's. It's Jermaine's blended. And uh, I went ahead and ordered a tin of each last night to... Because I already have a little, a small stockpile of the in-between, so I just got one, and I have one 20th anniversary, so I only ordered one, one more of those, um, because I'm, it's kind of an aromatic, it's, it's got a casing, it's got an ale top casing, and, uh, you know, I'm not looking to stock up on that one particularly, it's an, it's an English blend as well. But um, I missed out on the Our Best Blend and the Exotic and the Cognac, which the Cognac, I'm not too upset about, but the OBB, it sucks that I missed out on the Our Best Blend. But I have, a t I have plenty of Exotic. I have, you know, two tins of Our, our Best Blend, so, you know, it, it'll keep till next year. You know, I've got, uh, I've got quite the stockpile, so of many good tobaccos. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to hold off till next year's Smoker's Haven release. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to check in, let you guys know that I'm okay. Yes, I, you know, went through, you know, just about, just about wasn't with you guys anymore, but I am okay. Very strong young man. Uh, I bounced back extremely quick. I believe the hospital couldn't believe how fast I bounced back. But like I said, this happened on Monday. This is Saturday. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Um, in about a week, I go in to get the staples out. And then I'm... And I also have to get vaccines because I don't have a spleen anymore. When you have your spleen removed, you have to get a set of pneumonia vaccines, um, uh, meningitis vaccines, and the HIV vaccine. So there's a set of four vaccines that I have to get now because my immune system is weakened because I don't have a, a spleen anymore. Um, but I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. Um, you know, I, I couldn't be better, you know, uh, after the accident, you know, right now I'm doing very well. Um, I'm healing at a very fast rate. I'm, I guess, because of the good, sh the good shape that I've been in, uh, allowed me to recover from this quicker than typically. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut her off there and uh, let you guys get back to your to your weekends and your families. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, appreciate any well wishes, any, uh, appreciate anything anybody's got to say. Um, you guys have a great day. Enjoy your weekends. Stay safe.